All right, hey, Honors Chemistry. I wanted to post a video on some helpful calculations with the relative mass activity. So I know some of us were a bit on the struggle bus and there was frustration on both ends. So I want to make sure I provide some sample calculations so you could finish this and power through. All right, so um, I put my data up here and I'm pretty sure you could see it. Remember, you took the mass of the vials with the washers and the hex nuts and the bolts, and then you had to subtract that from the mass of the empty. So that's what this kind of second column is. And I would like to see that making sure either in your notebook or on your handout that you've subtracted those masses and then you label them as the masses of the hex nuts or washers or bolts without the vial. Okay, now let's look at question one, and I'm gonna post a video on this, and I did this a couple of times but I'm gonna do it with a different one. Question one says, a box of hardware contains 100 pieces, right? So I have one box and it contains 100 pieces, okay? So a box contains 100 pieces. Assuming there are 25 pieces in each vial, so now I'm gonna write myself a little note here that each of these vials with these masses are 25 pieces. So this is an assumption that's made. So it's not a how do you know, it's given in the problem that now these masses are 25 washers, 25 hex nuts, 25 volts, okay? So for example, the mass of 25 volts for me was 26.63 grams, okay? Assuming there are 25 pieces in each vial, calculate the mass of a box of each kind. I'll do one, maybe two to make sure we get this idea. Well, I know, let's just do the bolts one because I've been doing the washers in class. I know for a fact or an assumption that 25 bolts, they have a mass of 26.63 grams, okay? I wanna know the mass of a box of these bolts. Well, I also know that in a box, we have 100 pieces. So I pretty much want to figure out the mass of 100 bolts. I want to figure that one out. So I was talking in class and telling me that you could use proportions. So if I set up a proportion, I could have bolts on top and I could have grams on the bottom. And I'm looking for grams. I know how many bolts because the problem says I have a box and in a box there are 100 pieces. So if I have a box of bolts, I should have 100 bolts. So 100 bolts over, I'm looking for grams. So I'm going to put a question mark there. And then in class, I showed you that you could do cross multiply and divide or however you want to solve for this proportion. So I could do 25 times some question mark. Right? I don't know. 25 times question mark, and that represents bolts, and that represents grams, equals 100 times 26.63. Right? And I just put little notes here that this 25 is bolts, this question mark is grams, this 100 is bolts, this 26.63 is grams. Now I want to solve for the question mark, which typically you put the letter X here. For a variable. I'm just going to put a question mark. If I want to solve for this, I want to have 25 times some number equals whatever 100 times 26.63 is. I'm looking from my calculator. So I do 100 times 26.63 and I easily get 2,663. Well, duh, I could have done that in my head. All right, so I multiply these two together. And then if I want to solve for this question mark, or you would have it as x, I divide both sides by 25. Okay, so my question mark, which is how many grams are in a box, is equal to 2663 divided by 25, which is 106.52 grams of bolts in a box of bolts. Now, how did I skip to a box? Well, this 106.52 represents 100 bolts. So if I wanted to, I could say that this is 
grams of volts in 100 volts, okay? But this is also equal to 106.52 grams of volts in one box of volts. Okay, so in using this question, I know that a box is 100 pieces. If I get the mass of 100 pieces, I'll get the mass of a box, okay? I'm gonna move on to question two now. And if you have any questions or you're just like, how did you get this? You can comment this in the Remind or you can just ask the question if I post it in the Google Classroom. All right, so now the next question says that if I have a thousand grams, or it says one kilogram, so the next question says, if you had one kilogram of each kind of hardware, one kilogram of hardware, it wants to know how many boxes of each. I'm going to still stick with the, the bolt one. Before I calculate it, I'm going to write this on the side, that one box of bolts is equal to 106.52 grams of bolts. I'm going to write that number on the side. And you should do that for all of them, because you're going to need them in the later questions. I know that a box of bolts, which has 100 bolts, by the way, Okay, a box of bolts has 100 bolts. That has a mass of 106.52 grams. We calculated that before. If I have one kilogram of hardware, which the hardware we're talking about for this question, the example I'm gonna use is bolts. If I have a kilogram of bolts, how many boxes is that? Now there are two different ways that you could do this. I'm gonna do the one that uses the answer that you got before. I know that one box of bolts is equal to 106.52 grams of bolts. I want to figure out how many boxes, I'm going to put X here now, how many boxes of bolts if I have a kilogram. Now before I write a kilogram, my units here is in grams. So I have to convert that grams, kilograms to grams. So one kilogram times by a thousand, because there are a thousand grams in a kilogram, means I have 1,000 grams. So I'm going to put that number here. So now I'm saying if I have a thousand grams of bolts, how many bolts is that? How many boxes of bolts? Well, one box is 106.52, X boxes is a thousand. So I could cross, multiply, and divide like I've been doing. 1,000 times 1 equals 106.52 times x. So I could do 1,000 times 1, which is 1,000. If I want to solve for x, I divide both sides by 106.52. And remember, don't get lost in the units. What are you trying to solve for? How many boxes are in a kilogram of hardware? So if I have a kilogram, this is how many boxes there are gonna be. Or if I have 1,000 grams, this is how many boxes there are gonna be. So if I divide both sides by 106.52, I get nine, I'm gonna round, 9.39 boxes in one kilogram. Okay, so that's like another conversion that I could write down. That if I had a kilogram of bolts, that's equal to 9.39 boxes of bolts. So we're, lighting, we're writing a lot of proportions and ratios here to be able to answer these calculations. Let me move on to question number three now, and I'll probably end this video. All right, so if I move on to question three, by the way, that was our answer for just the bolts. You could do the same thing for washers, you could do the same thing for hex nuts. You're just going to have to use these ratios here. And I could post an answer key, or if you're like, hey, I want to check my answer, make sure you let me know in the Remind or in the Google Classroom. Now the next question says, 
you learn that a barrel of one inch bolts has a mass of 65.2 kilograms. So one barrel and bolts is equal to 65.2 kilograms. The mass of the barrel was 9.6 kilograms. So the barrel is equal to 9.6 kilograms. How many boxes of bolts are in the barrel? So now I want boxes of bolts. <coughs> All right, so now I have to figure out boxes of bolts, but I have to do a couple of things here, okay? That's why I wrote down this information here. Then I know that a box of bolts is equal to 106.52 grams, or 9.39 boxes is equal to 1,000 grams of bolts. I will use this in this question. So I have a barrel and bolts, and think back to when I have like the bolts and I have the empty container. If I have the bolts and the, and the container, and then I have the empty container, how can I get the mass of just the bolts by themselves? Well, I have to subtract the empty. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna subtract the mass of the barrel by itself, which is like the mass of the empty. If I do that, I should get 55.6 kilograms, okay, of bolts. All right, so there are two different ways you could do this, all right? So I subtract these two, and I'm just gonna get the mass of the bolts. This is without the barrel. All right, so this is just like what we did with the vials, empty and not. Except now instead of using a vial, I'm using a huge barrel. Okay, so now I subtract it out and I have my mass of bolts. From this number, I can figure out how many bolts I have. I can figure out how many boxes I have. I'll show both ways. Well, I know that from my answer from the previous question, right, do you see how the questions built off of each other? I know that one kilogram of bolt <coughs> is 9.39 boxes of bolts. I have 55.6 kilograms of bolts. And I want to figure out how many boxes is this? So this is one way of solving this. That's why I said save this information. You should use your answers from before to answer this type of question. I know that one kilogram is 9.39 boxes. Notice my units, kilograms over boxes, kilograms over boxes. How do I solve this? Just like I've been doing before, I could cross multiply and divide. One times question mark is equal to 55.6 times 9.39. That means one times my question mark is my answer. My answer is 55.6 times 9.39. 55.6 times 9.39, and I get 522.1 boxes of bolts. Right, and my units here are 55.6 kilograms per box, and I'm multiplying by kilogram, of uh, by box. Okay. So I could do my cross multiply and divide and I got my answer is 522.1 boxes of bolts. Another way to do this is using one of our previous answers. If I didn't know or I didn't remember or I didn't use my answer that there are 9.39 boxes of bolts in a kilogram, I could go way back and do the ratio the hard way and I know that, well, if I have 55.6 kilograms of bolts, which is what a lot of you are doing, I know that that means I have 55,600 grams of bolts, okay? Um, and so, if I know that I have 55,600 grams of bolts, I can set up a proportion over X number of boxes equals, I have, I know that there are 106 0.52 grams of bolts in one box. So if I set up this proportion, I'll have 55,600 gram or 
55,600 equals 106.52 times x, which is what a lot of you were doing today. If I want to solve for x, you can prove it to yourself that you will get the same answer of 522. So if you have any other questions or concerns, uh, let me know. You can message me in the Remind or you can comment in the Google Classroom.